Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Chris Bundy here. I had a request in my comments section a couple days ago to post a video about how the Windows Phone 7 series phones connect with Macintosh computers and in specifically how to how they interact with the iTunes software. So today I'm going to show you how it interacts and also how exactly you acquire it. So, uh, essentially it's become easier than when it first came out. Uh, instead of having to go to the Microsoft Store, you can now just go to the Mac App Store and you can download it. And simply all you have to do is search for the Windows Phone 7 connector. Uh, simply if you type in Windows Phone you'll find it, but that is the specific name. If you type that in, you will see this download link. Now, once you have downloaded the application, this screen greets you and then asks you if you want to sync the device when it's connected and if you want to import the photos and videos from the device to your Macintosh computer. So then all you have to do is select continue and then it goes through and plugs you in. So all you have to do is tell it to sync your music and then you can say select all music and then you can say sync so now what it'll do is as you can see the iTunes music store is bumping up and down so here in just a moment it should pop it did and then it asks for account name and password And once you plug in your account name, I believe that is it. Yeah. So once you do that, your iTunes will then start filling its library into the device and it actually gives us a warning down the bottom that says this list excludes some DRM protected contents in your iTunes library which cannot be played by your device. So there are some items inside of the iTunes library that cannot be played on a Windows Phone 7 device. Um, once I figure out what on that list cannot be played on the device I will find that out and report back to you guys. Alright guys, so my device has finished syncing and the other part of the question was is exactly how does the phone function once you do sync with iTunes? Uh, is everything hunky-dory and works just fine just like on your Windows computer? Or do weird things happen like do the thumbnails not show up or anything else? So here we go. Now I haven't actually played with it myself but here is the music and videos folder. Oh, and it says connected. Let me fix that real fast. Okay. So, as you can see, the actual um, uh, software changes once you disconnect, so it actually doesn't give you any access to any of your items on screen. Um, but, here on the device, if we go to music and videos, we've got our music here, and I'm going to try to pick something that's not too... Uh, well, they won't get a lot of comments. Alright, Bruno Mars is a fairly respectable guy. So, there we go, we've got the thumbnail there. And looks like side view isn't working. So, the other question was, was when the lock screen comes on, does it change to that? And it looks like it doesn't. So, sorry about that. Sorry about the blare. Um, but one of the questions was, does the lock screen change, um, just like with your Windows Phone software on the PC? And it looks like it does not. 
looks like it stays with the standard wallpaper um, and that may just be one of those things uh, companies do just like Apple has done with the iPhone in the past uh, they've locked away some hidden features uh, to the Mac um, some hidden um, functionality that makes you kinda want to have a Mac you know inspire that envy well this may be one thing a small thing really for um, Microsoft to have against Apple which is to just have the lock screen display the um, cover art um, but the cover art is there the exact cover art that I have on my Mac so really the only the only negative here about syncing to a Mac computer as for a PC uh, or instead of a PC is that the the actual cover art does not display there on the lock screen but really other than that you can hook up your Windows Phone device to your Macintosh PC and you can copy over any of your content that is not DRM encrypted from iTunes things like uh, your videos and things will be DRM encrypted uh, TV shows will be DRM encrypted so things you have purchased on iTunes essentially the things that are encrypted will not be able to be synced. Gladly though, all of your music is not DRM encrypted. That is one thing iTunes always tries to state. So all of your music library you'll be able to sync just fine, but other content you may have trouble. So if you have a virtual machine uh, of Windows that you could put on your Mac, uh, that would be lovely. If not, this may be one kind of a, a kick in the bucket against you having a Mac and a Windows phone. So if you have any other questions or comments, please leave a comment down in the comments section. I will try to help as, as well as I know how to. I will try to use any program or thing I have at my disposal. Um, I do have a Mac, I have a PC, I have a Windows phone, iPhone, Android phone. Uh, and I have an Xbox 360. Anything, any of those combination devices, any questions you have, uh, application comparison, OS comparison on how it does things, please hit me up and I will try to help you out as much as I can. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye.